So in this video, we are going to talk about the animated rain water drop material and effects that is available in the November free for the month collection in the Unreal Marketplace. So this animated rain asset allows you to easily make really good looking wet surfaces and animated water drops on semi-transparent objects. So you can drag over here and see we have a bunch of video links over here. And again I would recommend you to check the video links over here as we don't have a documentation over here. So this whole project is around 200 megabytes and you also need a project in order to add this asset into. So I'm going to be using this project over here which I used in the previous video to demo the physical interaction system. So if I were to go over here, we have this new folder over here called rain material and in here we have a bunch of demo maps over here and I'm going to be trying the cafeteria material overlay. So in here, in this example, we are looking at the material part where we are going to be adding the animated rain material on these objects. So if I were to click over here, you can see all of these are having its own animated rain overlay material on these. And the quality of these animated rain does get a little bit worse as you get closer to the object. Inside this glass over here, you can notice that in the glass there are a bunch of rain animation going on and this glass is using the translucent uh, material overlay but yeah overall it's still very good looking especially at a distance it looks very really nice now trying out the cafeteria volume and this is the part where we use the volume for the rain and as you move this volume you can see it creates this rain now obviously one of the drawbacks to using the volume or the material is that the quality of the rain animation gets a lot more worse. So you can see that the rain doesn't look all that good. But again this is fine if you're looking at it from a distance. But it's still something to keep in mind while using this asset. So I'm going to move on to the final demo. And in here we can actually see the post process volume being used. So when you enter in here you can see it creates this water effect over the camera and if I were to click on this post process go to details and drag down to the rendering process under post process materials and then under array you can see we have this material over here the post process material called rainflow post process and we can also see we have the volume over here and again in the outliner we can see we have the dynamic rain volume actor that contains three rain overlay decal for x y and z so we have the rain particles over here that creates this rain over here so this is separate from the other decals so if i were to move this you can see that the rain effect is still going on so it's just there for better immersion but yeah so assume that you wanted to scale this volume you first need to select all these three decals over here and then scale them. Again, it's very important that you apply the same scaling to all these three decals over here. And there is a dedicated video for this in the asset page. But yeah, after you have done that, we have to go to the rain overlay materials over here. So again, if I have to go over here under materials. We have the rain overlay material for decal X, Y and Z. And then I go for the rain overlay decal Z instance. And again, you need to modify the UV multiplier for the again decal Z, the decal Y and for the decal X. So that's the decal X instance over here. So all these three instance, you need to modify the UV multiplier over here uniformly so i'm just going to increase the value by two and again you kind of modify this value based on how you want the rain to properly appear so if it's too big you kind of increase the value over here so that the rain that flows through these cubes over here looks more proper and again now you can see the rain looks a bit more nicer now and again for the rain particles again you do the same thing you kind of increase the scaling for it as well to match the size of the rain volume over here and that's how you kind of increase the rain over here so i'm just going to undo all of these so now we have this material over here so what makes this different is that in here if i were to go to the material this is having a overlay rain material for this 
So assume that I want to add the same material to another object. So I'm just going to go over here, add a random cube. And then to add the material overlay, just go to the materials over here. And you can either use this material instance over here, which I'm just going to duplicate this and then add this. And you can just double click on this material instance over here and change its color or something. And you can also change the parent material over here. Alright, so currently it's using the cube material overlay over here. But if you have a material that you want to use, you can just modify this material directly over here. And yeah, that's really about it. And again, if you find these rain over here a bit too large, you can just increase the UV multiplier over here to something a bit higher. And now you can see it's looking a little bit more better. If you're going to be very close to the object. And by the way, you can also decrease the camera speed by controlling the, the value over here. So now we can more easily move closer to it. And there we have the rain effect on the cube. And suppose that you have a glass over here instead. You can just easily add the rain flow material or the rain flow material instance over here. And now suddenly it's a glass. And with all the water raindrops and everything. Again, it's free for this month. So if you were to download this before the end of this month, you'll be able to get this asset for free. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.